hello guys welcome back again this is my second video for the day uh please try as much as possible as usual to support your boy like this video comment share it on all social platform follow me on instagram twitter and facebook adam's link media make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload so in this video i'll be discussing about uh, police brutality that is one of the most important uh, topic in this video firstly let me talk about Tunubu versus Buari well yesterday through some media head of uh, President Mohamed Buari I, I, I don't know what is going on what was going on yesterday but it seems like they were trying to do some repairs Concerning Tunubu's and Buari relationship, uh, Bash, uh, Bashar uh, Ahmad, who is one of uh, Buari's aide, said to President Mohamed Buari, Asiwaju Bola Tunubu remains one of the most respected political leaders in the country who has stuck to his principle in the face of all adversity. Then Garbashe will say the presidency wishes to make it clear that there is no rift between President Mohamed Buhari and his strong ally, Isiwaju Bola Hamad Tunubu. Well, uh, you, just the other day, EFCC were touch lighting Tunubu. And uh, most of us were already clamoring, shouting, yes, EFCC will get Tunubu. It deserves what it's getting, deserve the EFCC winch aunt. Well, someone called me the other day who is really familiar with Nigeria politics and he said to me, Adam Slink, you are joking if you think EFCC are actually trying to arrest Tunubu. They are trying to wash him up to make it look, look like he doesn't have any case to answer. They are preparing him for 2023. I said, wow, like it really made a lot of sense. So, guys, it will shock you eh, to know that coming 2023, Tunubu will be Nigeria president. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not saying it like it's here, but uh, if you see where things are going to, if you actually understand politics about Nigeria, then you know that's exactly where we are going to. And meanwhile, here is an headline headlines yesterday from China's TV, Daily Trust, people, uh, some other letters said, uh, Tun Buari Tunubu have not sat together in 14 months, ignoring Lagos victim Tunubu donate 500 million naira for Castina market fire, just in Tunubu announced 15 million donations for victims of Castina market fire. Then, uh, according to the punch, they said, they said, Tunubu ignores Lagos oil market victims, but donate 50 million to Castina. We know Mokere, former social media head to S. President Golok Jonathan has blasted all progressive Congress chief, uh, chief tent. Bola Tunubu for donating 15 million to victims of the Castina market fire and ignoring affected traders in the southwest. Well, uh, that is politics for them. Tunubu is currently in the north trying to set the bed for him to leave. You know, very, very crazy. And meanwhile, talking about politics, Tenny visited the vice president yesterday. Tenny visited the vice president yesterday and uh, it's not going well with some people. This particular guy said, Wonderland in Asso Rock as music as musician Tenny visits vice president. This calls about her new album, hail the presidency for carrying the youth along, beg Nigeria youth to join APC and move the country forward. Well, uh, should I blame Tenny? No. Because it's majorly in our nature as Nigerians to quickly forget what happened to us whenever we are eating. 
we quickly forget what happened. So it's, it's, in, it's, it's in our nature. So I don't blame Tenny. Visiting the vice president, I don't blame him at all. Meanwhile, they invited Bonaboy, they invited Whiskey to meet with to come to Aso Rock, Aso Villa or Aso Rock. They invited them because they want to honor them for their Grammy Award. They refused to come. So why not? So let's bring Tenny in. See, so that uh, if Tenny is the only person that wants to come. So I don't blame Tenny. It's in our nature as Nigeria to forget what we have been through whenever we are eating. We don't we tend to forget we are suffering before that we suffer whenever we are eating. So it's in our nature. So I wouldn't want to like say, oh, I blame Tenny, Tenny did this, he did that, it should have gone. No, I'm not gonna do that. And talking about uh whiskey that bona boy. A very popular Nigeria comedian said that Whiskey and Bonaboy deserved to be issued like there should be a public holiday in honor of Whiskey to honor Whiskey and Bonaboy. Check it out. Check. Now, they know they give Whiskey and Bonaboy the accolade that they deserve. Why? I won't know why. They win Grammy. All the news that they hear about Nigeria for donkey years, now they take thief money. And they are people they disgrace themselves up and down. These boys they use their voice, they use their talent, they created job, and they brought the Grammy, they brought pride to the country. If in a normal country, all those airports they name Muatala, Muamel, Nandi, Aziki, wait, what did they name their name they still do for airport? Change the airport to Whiskey the Airport and Bonaboy Airport. Is it not better? The world go because they still put eye on the country, say, yeah, this country will now for good. I don't know what that reason I talk about, like, go talk. <laughs> Because on a normal day, they're supposed to declare public holiday for this Grammy with a win. Grammy na beans. Grammy na edges. Reasons to what he's saying. And uh, meanwhile, you know, the other day, I think is Niger. I think there's, there was a president from another country that our own president named the road after his own name. Another president from another country. Our own Nigeria president named the road after his name. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really confirm, like read about it but meanwhile what do you think should they give Niger uh, Bonoboy uh, and uh, Whiskey the particular day as public holiday to honor their Grammy award well see it's not being stuck like winning the Grammy is not being stuck that despite the politics it's not being stuck most especially for Bonoboy so leave your comment below guys they deserve it it is it's about time we start uh, rewarding those people who actually bring, who, are, who actually gives us uh, good names. It's not all those hodo donkeys uh, politicians who have, uh, because of their influence in politics, they start naming a lot of things after them. Every year, it does name well crazy. Again, check out this video. This video has been trending online, and it shows a man, Nigeria uh, man, standing trial for corruption in Nigeria and ends up faking a spinal cord injury. Well, it was caught on CCTV uh, camera. Well, let's watch a little bit of it. There's a drama playing out. One of these people is pretending to be sick. And uh, I don't know what his name is or who he is. Now, watch him now. You can see him is rubbing cream. These are the... Okay, just watch you. It's a very funny drama. Nigeria. These are the people killing this country. Watch him now. You can see him robbing cream. This man wants to go to court. And in the court, he will pretend as if he's about to die. Watch him. You see, he's standing now. I, will know, I don't know his name. But he has a court case to answer. Court case for corruption. See him. See him. See him now. See him. Acting as if he's paralyzed. See the belt on his waist. Uh -huh. Look at him now. Look at him. Kai God have mercy. Just look at him. Just look at him. The same man that was bending and rubbing cream. Now he's pretending as if he, he doesn't have legs again. Criminals. God will expose all of you. The abuse of the internet in what we see. Just watch. Meanwhile, you 
Even you, you have no credibility from what we are saying now. Yeah, no, 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 no. Credibility no, no, no. that is not in court now. I don't believe that. There is nothing in court. Credibility has been done to stress. Even if you take a look at it, mm. someone mm. who is really, mm. who really has final court in jury, <laughs> will work <laughs> better than me. Uh, yeah. Will work better than me. All these are acts. Uh, no, 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 drama. See the color on his neck. They need to get this talent. So they are down to pray. He did not get himself up. Look at at this stage, he was still he was he's been reducing the theatrics yeah, little by little, reducing the theatrics little by little. You know, he because he wasn't sure that people were not. He didn't know there's a camera in the room. But the moment that door slam shut, yeah, he knew that so okay, 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 all he knew now. He and his accomplices were the people left. At that point, he, he, he became his real self. Is uh, is an extremely dishonest to believe. Hey, hey. you can't say stop with whatever documents this can. If this is your father, <laughs> we are watching your father like this. So, oh, cry shit. But one thing is that uh, if you're in Nigeria, like every Nigeria shouldn't be surprised at this. We already know. We know. It's a normal. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing for any politician who the other day a man fainted after being asked a question. Fainted. Don't worry. <laughs> ah, Nigeria, we are in trouble. Those old men want to ruin or ruin, ruin this country. Okay, let me drop this one Car, we are in trouble. We meanwhile check out the photo of the day and it shows uh two thieves who were caught in the University of Calabar. So by the security, they dealt with them, but uh, I don't know what's making them to laugh, but I'm sure after these pictures, this picture they took, they won't be laughing anymore. Well, and that is the photo of the day. And uh, also, Bell last morning, this is what he wrote the other day. He was kind of like assaulted by the Nigeria police. He said, brutality stay out here. Billing my time with $200 even after letting them know I am an artist and I have a flight to catch Nigeria, my country. Well, uh, Bella's mother is currently in Ghana with whiskey. They are recording some music out there. Well, uh, he said while he was about to travel, uh, he was stopped by the police and they were harassing him and he had to bail himself with $200. Well, sorry, Bella. That's just how it is in this country. And when you say police brutality still out here, like still out here, we are still in need. He never went anywhere. He didn't. Police brutality didn't take any break. We, every day they brutalize a lot of people. Discrimination is still very, very ongoing. And uh, Singer Lighter also shared a video of himself uh, stopped by police in Lagos and uh, they were trying to extort them. Uh, well, he shared a long video. Sorry, I cannot play play uh, play the whole video because I have a lot of things to to also look into before wrapping up this video. And Eriga, Eriga wrote, he said, "A tattoo suits you when you have money. Otherwise, if you are broke, you look dangerous." Fact. Yeah, a tattoo suits you when you have money. I see a lot of you guys drawing tattoo. Well, the most funny thing is that I, when I went to Ghana, I see a lot of people like their tattoo there, their tattooing skills there is mad. Like they can just, they are walking in the street with big, huge tattoo, whether they are rich or not rich. And uh, yeah, they don't face any discrimination. But over here, you know, if you draw tattoo anyhow, and it's not covered and you are not rich you go out i'm telling you there is high chance like 80 percent chances that you won't make it back home 80 percent chances that you won't make it back home just draw tattoo use tattoo wear singlet come to secretariat 
uh, Abuja Secretariat. There are eighty percent chances you will make it back on that day. Trust me. Check out this picture of this guy who was really, really brutalized. It's a principal and teachers brutalized student for playing chess in class in Benue State. This guy was playing chess in class in Benue State. Well, that was disrespectful. Uh, that wasn't good. That, but uh, why were you playing chess in class? Well, it was really, really brutalized. And, uh, you know, I strongly discriminate this brutality of a thing, most especially in schools. You know, because I was uh, I, I was a victim of it. And honestly, up to this day, I do get some nightmares concerning when I was in body school. And when I tell people that I was really, really beaten up while in school, people think like I'm joking. And when I tell people that I was really, really beaten up while in school, people think like I'm joking. For those of my schoolmates then, they know well that I have said before, if you want to count top five persons who really collected a lot of water cane and koboko on their back, um, like the number two or number three persons, students, they, see, man, they brutalized me very well, oh. I've collected 45 straight water cane. Have you guys seen water cane? The, that water cane that will burn and it won't break. Once I chop like three, 45 strokes. Man, I was beating on, seriously beating on. But uh, at the end of the day, did that beating wide like... Did that beating uh, mold me to become the man I am today? No. It gave me a lot of trauma. Even when I'm still as big as this, if I'm dreaming, I, I, I see myself in school that time, I'm, I'm scared when I wake up, like, I don't want to go to that era. Like, it's crazy. Even the the principal son, who was a teacher there, we call it Uncle Mike. Honestly, deep down in my heart, Uncle Mike, if you ever watch this video, know that you and I will never be cool in this life. I might laugh with you, but I'm opening up to you now if you ever come across my video. I I, I am almost hating you. Seriously. <laughs> Man, if I see, I know we are cool, we, we do talk at times, but seriously in my heart, I don't like you. I don't like you, I don't like anything about you. If you ever come across my video, just know that in your heart that I don't like you because of the beating you gave me and gave other students in that school that time. So to end this video, uh, I think there's an advice. This guy said, to be great in life, you need to care less about what people think and focus on your goal alone. Everybody becomes your friend when you eventually win. No one wants to associate with you when you lose, wise up. Yeah, guys, wisen up. No one wants to associate with you when you are losing. And if you must hand, please be shameless. If you must hand, be shameless. Alright, guys, so thank you very much for watching. It's your boy, Adam Slink. Have a wonderful day. Bye.